Hi, this is Matt with Mr. Dryout. We're doing a few beach condos. They had a little mess up with the uh, fire suppression unit today. This is unit 202. Go we'll take a look inside. Some wet tile. See this uh, floor here is pretty wet. Wet, wet, wet. And they were trying to find the leak. They cut a hole in the wall, hole in the ceiling pretty wet there along the counter. We're going to uh, dry this place up, extract the carpets. Cabinets don't look too bad, but there is water coming out of the base of them. So we're going to remove the cake plates and we're going to try to dry those cabinets out. Let's go take a look downstairs, it's a little worse. Okay, this is unit 102. Getting ready to start extracting some water. See we have a large volume of water here. Getting pretty deep there. I'm gonna take the cake plates out. There again, they cut the wall open looking for the leak. Entire living room is very wet. Soaked, and this whole room is soaked all the way across. Entire floor is soaking wet. It's a nice day right out at the beach. And then Look back across this water. And then we've got a hall bath that's wet, flooded. This is the bedroom in here. And this is completely flooded as well. You can see a lot of moisture there. So we'll be extracting, trying to save that carpet as well. Let's go. We got one more unit this is to take a look at. It's just some, a little bit coming through the wall right here. Of course, this is uh, vacation condos. You see this area? The floor is wet, and then you can kind of see a stain in the ceiling. That drywall's damp, and that's right opposite where they cut the wall in the kitchen for the, the next door unit. Just to show you, you can see the water coming out of the into the parking area. A large volume of water in this whole area right here. I just want to show this real. I just want to show this real quick. This is the uh, unit 102, and you can see that those baseboards have been wet before, and they're all black. And it is dry on this side, but as you can see, the carpet's soaked there. And then if we go down the hallway. We're going to look at this vanity. It has a little bit of prior damage, but now it is gonna have to be removed look inside here it's green and it's all bad there so that's all gonna have to be removed and you can see the swelling down the side of the cabinet from the water intrusion so we're in unit 202 and the cabinets are kind of falling apart a little bit not the best cabinet making after the storm or the water intrusion Got a dehumidifier, three, four fans. We took the pad out. They requested to take the pad out. Carpet's floating. See the brand new sprinkler line there. Fire suppression people open that whole cavity up. It'll help it dry. This is inside unit 102, just below where we were. There was a vanity right here sink, but it was destroyed. We just took it out. And in the hallway bath, we took out that vanity, trimmed the drywall at the base. It was a little discolored. And then here's the living room. And you can see that kitchen cabinet sinking right there. Cabinets have a severe water damage just on their own weight. So it's going to have to be evaluated. The homeowner didn't want us to take any more out, just the bare minimum. You can see here where the uh, fire suppression pipe or fire cut this whole section out, replace that water line. And then about halfway across the room, Three quarters across the room, we took out the pad. 
then you can see the beautiful view right there at the beach. This is unit 101. We just have two fans and a dehumidifier in this unit.